Hello. Uh, today I was gonna go into the idea of why isn't sleep death? So, okay, hear me out. From an outside perspective, you look at someone and their sleep, they, um, they're not dead. They, if you look at them, you can tell they're not dead. They're like breathing. They're, you're not ever afraid really that if someone goes to sleep that they're dying. Uh, but to the person who's going asleep, it's, I talked about this last time, it's like, to you, if you didn't dream or anything, it, you were essentially dead. You didn't interact with the outside world. It was kind of just nothing, uh, and you weren't, you weren't thinking or anything like that. So I want to break down why I think even from an outside, or why sleep isn't death from a mix of like a scientific and like a, a self just from yourself like your own perspective why you don't die when you sleep so with that being said that I just said you don't die when you sleep I think that you partially die when you sleep what I mean by that is that you have different levels of being and that individual levels can die but as long as the other levels are still going, then you don't die. It's like a, it's a partial death. And so sleep could be called the partial death of your conscious mind, but you still have several other layers of your body that is still alive. So that comes into the question, like, what does it mean to be alive? And there's a scientific definition that being alive is what is it it's like homeostasis the body tries to maintain it can interact with the outside world uh the desire to reproduce or something i, I don't know the exact four but there's like a list of like things that qualify something as a living being and for example viruses fit some of these qualities but not all of them so a, a virus isn't a natural living creature i am going to define being alive as interacting with the outside world for some purpose so the key word here is purpose because a rock can interact with uh, another rock but you wouldn't call a rock alive because it's not doing that for any reason or it's not doing it for a purpose it, it could be doing it for like gravity or whatever but the rock doesn't actually have a purpose i'm sorry rocks um you're purposeless <laughs> no purpose um but yeah so i think this there's probably we could do the socratic method and i more clearly define it but i my, my definition for a living being is going to be interacting with the outside world for some desire or even just the uh capacity for desire so with that i think you have three levels of being that fulfill these qualities one is cellular so like your body is made up of like individual cells and each of these cells will interact to fulfill some sort of purpose so the purpose i cannot exactly say what it is but a cell will take energy from an outside source and use it I, i'm actually not super familiar with biology so i won't be able to give a very scientific definition for that but a cell just Let's say the entirety of your body is full of like a group of cells and these cells need like water, they need nutrients in order to do processes. Um, in a way, your cells interact with the outside world, but it needs like, your cells have a self sustaining that they need to do but past that, they're not doing very high level purposes. Like the goal is to self-sustain or fulfill some task that a higher up level of your body determines. And so starting with that, you have cellular and then I think you have unconscious. So what I mean by unconscious is I, I should say subconscious. It's like your, your brainstem is responsible for like hunger for thirst for reproduction uh survival like a lot of these base feelings and instincts uh, i think it's the id is what it's called philosophically 
your subconscious has all of these desires like very blatant raw emotions and it tries to fulfill them and so that's like another level of your being as a person uh, we often whenever we're hungry we act differently whenever we're angry whenever we have all of these feelings it certainly does affect us and we definitely like should fulfill those well maybe not should uh, but we definitely like have desires that should be filled that are not part of your conscious mind that you don't like think I want to do this today instead it's kind of thrust upon you that oh I should do this because I feel this way it's a very interesting idea and then of course at the after all that you have what I would call waking rational mind when you're walking around just who you are as a person uh, the desire that you want popcorn I don't know if that falls under subconscious or conscious but just I guess higher level desires and wants would be filled in the conscious and the conscious utilizes the previous two uh, or at least the cellular to fulfill those desires so saying that a living creature or that we're made up of multiple I guess conscious parts of ourselves uh, or multiple levels and as long as not all of those are gone then you're still like alive so that's why being asleep isn't the same as death but it is a partial death uh, it's interesting too because I don't think you could remove s several of these like require another part of it to be to function so like if you didn't have cells I don't think you could have the higher level consciousness because the cells are almost like a capacity to uh, have these higher level desires. Um, maybe it's like a, a situation where you can only remove the top layer and then the top layer and still be alive. You can't start from the bottom. I could see that making sense. Um, otherwise, uh, so something about a building analogy, uh, the metaphor is like, you wouldn't remove the foundation of a building and still expect there to be a building. You need that. You could, though, remove a roof and still have some sort of a building. Yeah, so that's interesting. I guess then um, sleep would be the removal of the conscious layer, but could you remove both conscious and subconscious and still be alive? I think in a sense, yes, you would still be there, but it would be lower level forms of life and conscious like there are singular celled organisms that like exist and those are alive um, it'd be interesting to know like what level of conscious those have if they have any at all i would have to venture yes there has to be some form of consciousness but it would be the first word that comes to mind is primordial it's, it's just kind of like so base that it would be hard to even imagine what it would be like to be a single cell organism. And that actually brings up an interesting idea that uh, we have the three layers. This is, okay, let me put a disclaimer here. I've been speaking in very uh, defined, no, I've been speaking very assertively what I mean to say is that I've been saying this is the truth. I don't know. This is just speculation. I'm saying this as an interesting hypothesis. So earlier when I said being alive is this, uh, that is, this is a hypothetical thought sequence. I don't necessarily believe this, but it's interesting to think about. Anyways, with that out of the way, I was talking about, yeah, so... A singular cell organism kind of is self-contained package. It it has all of the components it needs to live and complete its goal of like reproduction and survival. But for uh, multi-celled organisms, I think we remove this capacity for an individual cell to survive by itself. Like the purpose of the cells have become to function in a larger scheme of operating systems so like we have multiple types of cells we have like nerves we have skin cells we have muscles 
and each of these fulfills some sort of purpose for a higher level machine so for our our cells or just any multi-organism uh, multi-celled organism the cells might not actually individually be conscious but overall the combination gives you some sort of capacity okay um, that's gonna be all the time I have today this one was interesting I've never thought about I've thought about the idea that we have potentially multiple levels of like consciousness but starting from cellular then subconscious then conscious I never thought about removing from the bottom I don't think that would work because the bottom is almost like a, a precursor for the next level up okay uh, yeah so thank you for watching uh, bye